Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys something brand new. I received in a mail something called Jankbox and this is it. After let you guys know that I am really thankful for the Jankbox company that sent me this. Also thankful to xbmchop.com since they are the supporter. I just want to let you guys know this is a phenomenal package. I'm going to unbox today and show you guys what it includes inside. So first thing first I don't want to forget you can see the box itself. It's really nicely done and it is really intact. It came from China. It came in one piece and you can see that there's a little dent on the side so it is really nicely done I just want to go quickly over the box itself that what it says on the top you can see that it has their own logo which is junk box it does say that it has an internal 4 gig memory also it says that it's a junk box Android HD that's the version that this one is there is other different versions too this one is one of the ones that works with XPMC natively and really good so it does say that it's a network media streamer which is really really good another part is it is Wi-Fi already built in it has the ethernet port also if you want to hook it up with wired internet also the ATSC ready uh, USB I will be going over that too it does have the HDMI of course that will power up to 1080p also has the motion control another part is the micro SD since it's an Android software it does come with a media player built in that it can play the MQV files or something even bigger but on top of that we do have our XBMC built in so you can play a lot more you know about it as soon as I point to the logo. This part talks about the Bluetooth ready so you can hook up your Bluetooth little dongle into it and take advantage of it that way. You can see on the side that it has a really nice looking logo in the picture. The picture kind of reminds you of the Apple TV but no I'm gonna show you what are the differences in a few seconds. All right go on to the side you can see that it talks about it's a uh, Android 4.0 operating system built in and also it has the Full HD 1080p media player built in also. It's running on the CPU ARM Cortex A9 1.2 gigahertz. It's running on one gigabyte of RAM and going down it also has the 3D graphic processor built in. So if you have a 3D monitor or 3D TV you can take advantage of that also. USB digital TV tuner ready. If you have a TV tuner you can hook it up and you can take advantage of that also. HDMI output of course and the Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz on the 802.11, three times the USB 2.0 connection. Also 10 100 megabytes per second Ethernet. It also is the 2.4 gigahertz motion remote it, with the gyro, and I will be going over that in a few seconds too. Micro SD card at read up to 32 gigabyte, so that is really cool too, and I will be going over those also. It's also USB Bluetooth ready. That means that if you have a dongle, you can connect. It will also read it there. For you external ntfs usb hard drive compatible that means is if you have an external hard drive that is already partitioned and you have files on it as long as it's ntfs it will be supported in the supported files are just going on on mpeg it can also run the x264 x uh, h264 also running on wnv 2mts ts and just keeps going on and on on supported audio is also there that you can run all of the same as above for the videos also going down you have the subtitle supported rts and other type of you can see that right in the bottom and at the bottom it says multilingual so of course it's not just in one language since it is a android 4.0 so you can use it if you guys speak a different language you can set it up right on a start all right without further ado i just want to go on the other side and it just talks about in different language i'm just going to open it up so when once you open the box we can see that the it is very light when you pick it up and when you look in the bottom you can see that it's made out of plastic but it's one of those plastic when you put it on something it doesn't slide so it's really really good and this is the front part you can see that it has a little sticker I'm just gonna take it off so you can see that it has a really nice looking name on the front for the logo and then when we flip it on the front there is three indicators right here I hope you can see right now there you go and it talks about the uh, net and then the status so these are constantly going to be connected this one tells you that if you're connected on the internet wirelessly or wired or not and then these ones going to be keep flicking back and forth so you know that the connection is going to work this part of it is the IR which is the remote control that you're going to use also when we flip it on the side you can see that 
that there is a connection for the micro SD which you can put so you can expand the memory inside or you can put your pictures. Uh, this can be read up to 32 gigabyte. There's two USB 2 ports on the, on this side. If we flip it on a back there is the LAN connection uh, which you can connect the 10 100 megabits per second 802.11. Also this one is the third USB that you can connect. This is also USB 2. There's the HDMI connector that you can connect and get up to 1080p output and this is where the AC goes. Also there's a little power button you can click it off and you can click it on. On the other side there's nothing there and on the back you can see that it's made out of really nice looking rubber so that way if you put it on somewhere it is not going to move so it just sticks to it. This is really really cool from the jank box so we'll just put this aside. Just a little little foam just gonna put that inside. We'll take the remote out. Now the remote is also really nicely put in a little Ziploc bag. There's a little piece that comes with it. This part is mandatory to have. There you go and this one is there's a little USB that you can connect on a side. You need this too. So we'll put this also aside. Now the remote control you can see that it is very very nice and it's not as thin as the Apple TV 2 remote but it gives you a lot more function. When you turn it on, you can see the little light going on. That means that it's connected right now. Jinx box connected. So, but what we do is when you connect it and when you maneuver, you, when you move it around, it actually, there's a little arrow on the screen that will move with it, which is really, really cool. So you can play your games on this. Just to go over the little buttons that what it have. From the front, you can see that there's two little LED lights on the top and it will connect whenever you are connected to it. Uh, right now, just the blue one is on. That means that the power is on, so which is really good. We have a little lock button on the left side, a little speaker that you can press mute. Also on the circular part of it, on the top part it says home, when you press it, it just the screen just disappears and you go back on the main screen, whatever application that you're in. This one just goes one application, so that way if you wanted to just switch back into older page, if you were browsing the internet, this was this going to be really helpful. That one, this button right here is actually menu, so it gives you more options. At the bottom it says info, so there's a little button for the info, you can click on that. The middle button is just the play or the OK button so you can click just change pages which is a cool feature on this. Another part is the zoom in and the zoom out but if we go on the bottom there's a little micro USB connector that we have a little wire for it that came in the box. Also when you go on the side you have the little volume up and down button. Most of the controllers don't have these type of things around so I'm just looking around to see what else. You have the little IR remote also so you can control your Jenks box with it. To have these two connected you do need this little dongle that came with it that you can connect on a side or on the back. Doesn't matter where, as long as it's connected, your remote will have a motion control and you can control everything with it. And also, I don't want to forget in the front part, if you look, you can see that it says Jankbox. Really nice logo there too. So beautiful. So let me just put this aside and just open it up to see what else is in there. This is just the US adapter you can see and the other part that goes into the box itself and it is very long. I believe this is up to two meters. So we're gonna put this aside. Another thing that it has is the micro is the micro SD. There you go, the micro USB. The same type that we use for our Apple TV, but this one is for the jank box. We're gonna put that aside. And it also comes with the HDMI cable. This is what most of the other box is missing but Jankbox already taught ahead and they put the HDMI cable in these boxes which is awesome. We don't have to go outside and buy ourselves another $20 and get another uh, HDMI. You have it in this so which is really good. Alright, so today I came out to talk about the Jenksbox Android HD 4GB. I hope you guys like my video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is exitex.info. Don't forget to visit Jenksbox YouTube channel. This video will be available there also. Again, there's going to be more videos available for this in our own channel. Don't forget to visit our sponsors, Jenksbox YouTube channel or xbmchub.com or xbmc and Android.com. They are a big supporter of this video and big support of our own channels. Make sure that you follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook channel. Thank you.